Spider-Man Fake Red, a manga written and drawn by Yosuke Asawa. It follows Yu Oname, who becomes the hero he idolizes so much after finding his costume and struggles to take care of New York City while he's missing. Not to mention, he has no superpowers. Considering I've been talking about the idea of anime voice actors playing Marvel characters, I decided to make a review for Spider-Man Fake Red. Yu Oname is an awkward teenager who struggles to keep up with his grades and make friends. The only thing he does to escape that is bouldering, as it makes him feel like our friendly neighborhood hero. One day he runs into a group of bullies mugging one of his classmates, Toby. In the alley, he spots his student ID, but also a Spider-Man costume. After messing with it for a bit, he realizes it's the real deal. The next day, he tries to get his attention by posing in the costume in the hopes of returning it to him. The crowd, thinking it's him, point him to the direction of a burning building which has a missing kid trapped. Incredible pressure is upon him as he doesn't have superpowers. Yet, he runs towards it and manages to climb to the third floor the way he would at bouldering. After finding the kid, they slowly drop on a web line, but the building explodes which breaks the web. Luckily, everybody catches them with an airbag. One day at the bouldering gym, his crush Emma Pearson completes the contest, making her the first contestant to win. After trying to befriend him, she gets kidnapped by a couple thugs. As Spider-Man, Yu this time takes a ride on a taxi to catch up to the fleeing car and covers up the window, which causes everyone to fall in the river while Spidey and Emma escape. The next day, while helping Yu recover his personal items, she spots the same injuries and realizes he rescued her. In return, she offers to fix the costume, help him study better, and invites him to hang out with her group. Screwball arrives to start a live stream, challenge Spider-Man, and catch her before she can set off an explosion. Once again, self-doubt overwhelms him, but the supports motivate him to catch her by webbing up her jet board, only for everyone to find out that it was all a scam she set up to kiss him and gain more views. Later, she is captured by another web warrior, who is revealed to be Silk and has been looking for the real Spider-Man since his disappearance, which is what she told you. While he and Emma are out together, Silk contacts him to meet up with her in the sewers and is attacked by Venom. Later on while fighting Spider-Man, the host tries to tell him, with great power comes great responsibility, like Silk mentioned before. As it turns out, the person inside Venom is the real Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Venom throws a bunch of rubble at a police car, which blows up, and one of the pieces hit the church bell and weaken the symbiote. Yu takes the mask off, gives it to Peter, and as he puts it on, the symbiote changes to the black suit, gaining full control. Mysterio arrives and reveals that he's the one who made Spider-Man his pawn as Venom. Stuntman and special effects artist Quentin Beck became envious of Spider-Man's fame. Because of the villains intervening Peter's dates with Mary Jane Watson, Beck went in disguise at her, lured Peter to him, and infected him with the symbiote. The real Spider-Man uses his spider sense to find Mysterio and punches him, canceling his illusions. Afterwards, Yu apologizes for taking his costume and screwing up his legacy. Peter reminds him that even he had doubts, which is why he threw away the suit. That was until Yu found it, and Peter learned through him that it doesn't matter if he has great power or dons a costume. It was Yu's courage that saved the real Spider-Man, and he was the hero at that point. The story closes when Spidey and Silk check on Yu, who is apparently attending to help Emma clean spray paint on his house. I gotta say, it's a really good read, and I like it. The plot, the action, and the art style. Considering it was released in 2019, you can tell the logo looks like the one from Homecoming, and Venom looks like the Tom Hardy incarnation. 
Unfortunately, it only lasted for about a year and was cancelled. According to sources like Anime News Network, Asua stated that although initial sales of the manga's first compiled book volume were fairly good, additional printings did not continue to sell as well. The digital version also did not sell well at all. That is a real bummer. I would have liked to see what would have happened to you after all that and Peter's relationship with Mary Jane. Since it came in the USA, people have been trying to support it and promote it in the hopes that it will continue. I don't know if it will considering it's been almost five years since its release. Though I have heard a couple rumors that Asua may make another Spider-Man manga or a sequel to Fake Red, so maybe it is selling well in the US. One thing is for sure, by making this review, I'm promoting it myself. If you love Marvel, anime, and manga, I recommend giving this a read. I'll be sure to add the link to Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this.